he's going to do pressing isometrically, meaning a static load. So this gets him to do some press work without him moving the joint. So I want you just to go stay there for a second. So in this position, you're in like a bench press or like if you're on your front, it'd be in a push-up position. So you're actually at 45 degrees here. You're not at 90 and you're not down here. You're at a 45 degree angle. So at this position, that's it. He's gonna try and hold that ball stable. So he's gotta put some load into the ball. Okay, keep it stable. And he's gonna think about pushing forward and above his head. So it's up actually on an angle. And when he starts, his shoulder is actually off the ground. So the shoulder is protracted. We want, we want that protracted because we want the serratus going. So he's going to use his front delt, his pack, his serratus, and his tricep to push that ball into the wall as hard as he can without pain. So you load up there for me, Brado. Yeah, so don't, so stay out of the pain barrier. So just enough to feel like you're switching that on. You're switching on in here. You're switching on in there and switching on in there. So he's learning how to accept load into a press which beefs up his isometric strength without injuring the joint and without moving the joint through any range. So this helps him with any sort of pushing movement that he's going to do down the track. It's a very important one and it's a 30 second hold. So 30 second isometric load, pushing hard, thinking up into the wall and try not to do too much back. He's got to think about his shoulder blade coming forward from the back. So he's got to think about the, the serratus anterior loading and pushing that forward and then rest. Now just go on the other shoulder for me. So that's, that's his dislocated one and this is his non-dislocated one. You see the difference? You feel that? Yeah, easy, right? So pain and weakness, but we don't want the pain when he's doing it. So when he loads back forward, remember, come back again. Remember, think about 45 degrees on an angle here shoulder just about off the floor and loading into the ball winding it up and slowly winding 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 until you get to the point where I can't push any harder otherwise I'll be pain and can I hold that there for 30 seconds at a time and I do about three or four sets of that and that's his press work okay